Hello everyone, welcome back to your YouTube channel. So today I am preparing an easy peasy recipe which is prawns biryani. First, we will marinate the prawns. So I have taken 500 grams of prawns here. Marinate it with salt and turmeric powder. Mix it well and let it sit for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we will prepare the biryani masala. So in a pan, add coriander seeds 2 teaspoon, jeera 1 teaspoon, fennel seeds 1 teaspoon, peppercorn 6 to 7, cloves, cardamom and cinnamon, 1 bay leaf, biadgi chillies 3 and guntur chillies 3. You can add peppercorns and chillies according to your spice level. Roast all these ingredients till you get nice aroma. Now we have to grind it until it becomes powder. This is an easy recipe. Anyone can make it. So now grind it. And this is the biryani masala. Now we'll prepare the green masala for the biryani. So we need handful of coriander leaves, 10 to 12 mint leaves, 2 green chillies. You can add green chillies according to your requirement. Ginger 1 inch and garlic cloves 5 to 6. And one tomato you also you can add. It will make it will give a good taste for the masala. Now prepare fried onions for the biryani. So in the kadai in which I am making biryani, add uh, 1 tablespoon of ghee and 2 tablespoon of oil and then add onions. I have used 2 onions here. Subscribe to my channel and support me. Like this video and share it with your friends and family. Mix the onions well and add a little bit of salt so that onions will fry fast and let it turn fully brown so here it's done and in the same pan add one tablespoon of ghee and one tablespoon of oil and then add one onion now we are preparing the biryani so uh, add one onion little bit of salt let it turn golden brown until then mix it well after you prepare all the masalas it will be easy for you to prepare the biryani Now add one tomato, chop, chop the tomatoes nicely, let the tomatoes become mushy, after that you have to add the biryani powder which we prepared. Instead of buying biryani masalas from outside, you can prepare it at home itself and it will give a good taste too because you are preparing it with your own hands so it gives a good taste and now mix it well let the masalas coat nicely to the onion and tomato and then add the green masala which we prepared earlier add it and mix it well let it mix well i hope you people will try this recipe do try it and let me know how it turns out subscribe to my channel meanwhile now uh, you have to add little bit of water to the mixi which we ground the green masala because it uh, that masala is also that masala water can also be used for making biryani actually you can, no need of throwing anything out and then add required amount of water and a little bit of salt and mix it well now this is the actual biryani masala which we prepared so let it boil completely and after it boils you have to add the prawns which we marinated and kept it now it's done now we'll add the prawns which we had marinated now mix it well and let the prawns cook completely meanwhile subscribe to my channel click the bell icon so that you will get notified when you when we upload new videos now cover the lid and let it cook for uh, two to three minutes 
follow me on instagram and facebook the link will be given in the description box and uh, the product which i have used in my previous videos that is simmar grinder i have uploaded a lot of videos about it i have uploaded even the unboxing videos it is it will be given in my description box do check it out and the product website link is also given do check it out and support me now once the prawns masala is ready add half the biryani rice which you prepared add the rice and spread it evenly so that all the areas will be covered up i hope you all will try this recipe and give me your valuable feedback so that i can improve myself and even if you all have any cooking recipes you can just comment it down i'll prepare it for you in my next videos now add the fried onions which you prepared and then add 1 teaspoon of ghee you can add ghee according to your requirement now add coriander leaves and mint leaves spread it evenly and then uh, the remaining half biryani you add it on this and spread it evenly and you have to repeat the process again spread it evenly and add fried onions after you add the fried onions in uh, for 2 te tablespoon of milk you can add 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric powder and add that mixture to this biryani because it will turn the rice into yellow and it gives good taste for the biryani after that add ghee as per your requirement you can add more ghee or you can add less ghee and then garnish it with coriander leaves now cover the lid and let the biryani cook nicely for giving dum keep a tawa on the stove and on the tawa keep this biryani and upon that you can keep any vessel or a stone so that the steam doesn't go out and now the biryani is ready to serve thanks for watching